Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the JRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the JRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to be able to follow my work. Please turn to page number 152 and today is our day number 45, lesson number 45. The problem that we are about to solve is the very last one that you will see on page number 152. The one, the one about the lawyers. So we have 700 lawyers. What do we? We have 700 people. We have 700 people, 120 are lawyers. We are going to pick two at random. We will pick two at random. The question simply is, what are the odds of not picking The lawyers not picking uh, one of the one of the 120 lawyers again one more time we have a group of 700 people of which 120 of them are we are told are lawyers uh, we're going to put all of their names in a hat and we're going to draw it random and the question simply is if we put the draw two names of course without replacement we're going to draw it we're not going to put it back we're going to draw the second one the question is as we open the two names what are the odds the names that we're going to read are not the names of one of the 120 lawyers in the group. Very simple, very straightforward. If 120 of them are lawyers, then if 120 of them are lawyers, then that implies that we have 580 people who are not lawyers. Therefore, the odds of picking the first guy who is not a lawyer is 580 over 700 because there are 580 people who are not lawyers and out of total of 700 people after we have picked him now we no longer have 580 lawyers left in the group we have 579 lawyers out of 699 because we already picked one person 699 that, those are the odds but we don't have to do it out, we don't have to do out the exact calculation because the question says and when you get something nasty like this, read care carefully because it will not ask you for the exact uh, answer. As you look at the answer choices, they are all nice round numbers, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, and 90%. Those are the answer choices. It's question simple. This, how is the question worded? It says which of the following is the cl closest to the probability of neither of the members selected? Let me read one more time. Which of the following is the closest to the probability that neither of the members selected will be a lawyer? They're looking for the closest answer. They're looking for approximation. They're not looking for the exact number. We don't have to calculate it. So this 580 divided by 700 is approximately the six, 600 over 700. And this one is the same thing, 600 over 700. We're just approximating it, which is same as 6 over 7 times 6 over 7, which is same as... 36 over 49. 36 over 49 is approximately the same as 36. 36 over 50. Now, of course, you could actually, because they give you the so-called calculator, well, not so-called, it is a calculator, If you, you could, if you wanted to, crunch it all out, exact amount, but you're missing the point. That was not the point. So 36 over 49 is approximately 36 over 50. Now, this we can do that, which is same as 72 over 100. If you, if you were to multiply the top and bottom by 2, we get 72 over 100. So the answer is, the answer is approximately 72%. The odds are approximately 72% that the two members that we picked at random out of the group of 700 will not be lawyers if there are 120 lawyers in that group. That's all. The answer is C. The answer is C. That's all. 
I will see you tomorrow where we will solve this problem on the next page dealing with the garden on page 153. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? On day number 46. Bye now.